How to paint an exterior wall. Difficulty level, one hammer. Being constantly exposed to the weather, exterior walls sometimes need a restorative coat of paint. Give them a new lease of life with a coat of special, long-lasting paint. You will need some anti-foam agent, a roll of wide masking tape, plastic sheeting, exterior wall paint, and, depending on the state of the wall, some wall cleaner, some base stabilizing render or stabilizing undercoat, exterior mastic for wall cracks, or exterior render. You will need a ladder or scaffold tower, a high-pressure cleaner, a garden spray, a triangular shave hook, an angle grinder with a selection of discs, an extruder gun, a trowel, a tray, a metal brush, an electric drill and paint mixer, a wall paint roller, a paintbrush, a paint bucket and scraper grill. Make sure that you have earplugs, safety goggles, work gloves, rubber gloves, a builder's hard hat if you're going to work up a ladder, overalls and rubber boots. A ladder will suffice for a single-story house, but it would be better to use a scaffold tower if you're working above 3 meters. Make sure that it is level with its stabilizing struts extended and possibly fixed to the wall by a webbing strap. It's a good idea to wear a hard hat in case any tools fall from the scaffolding. Cleaning and treating the wall. Using a wire brush, Vigorously brush the wall surface to remove any growth or flaking paint. A wall cleaner will make it easier to clean off dirt. Pay particular attention to any paint blisters. Then rinse all surfaces thoroughly with a hose or better, a pressure washer, using the maximum pressure setting of 50 to 60 bar. Let everything dry completely. Treat the wall surface with anti-foam agent. Don't rinse and leave it for the recommended time to get to work. Protect any nearby flowers or shrubs with a plastic sheet. Protect door frames with the wide masking tape. And cover the ground with canvas or plastic sheeting. Filling. Repair any visible cracks or damage and use the shave hook to widen any cracks bigger than 0.2 mm or use the angle grinder fitted with an all-purpose disc. Remove dust using an air blower or a wet dry vacuum cleaner. Fill small cracks with exterior mastic and smooth the surface. Use sand and cement render for larger holes. Base stabilizing render. If the surface is damaged or crumbly, you should apply a base stabilizing render that needs three to four days to dry. To improve adhesion of the paint, and get the best color opacity, we recommend you apply a stabilizing undercoat. Undercoat. First paint all crevices and corners using a brush. Then with a roller, use overlapping horizontal and vertical strokes. Allow around 24 hours before applying the next coat. Ideally, the ambient temperature should be between 10 to 25 degrees Celsius. Avoid painting in hot sun when it is freezing or when there is frost on the wall or if it is raining or damp. An even coat of paint. Start by thoroughly mixing the paint to get a uniform mixture. Apply the top coat in the crevices and the corners using a brush initially as you did for the undercoat. Then paint the wall with the roller in sections measuring 60 centimeters wide by a meter high. Paint vertically top to bottom, then paint across left to right. And finally, paint a third time vertically up and down. To avoid any paint ridges, complete the painting panel by panel. Allow the first coat to dry for around 8 hours and then apply a second coat if necessary, using the same technique. This is an inexpensive way to restore an exterior wall and rejuvenate the whole house.